forward if you don't mind, just so we don't miss. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. Please. Yeah. I should and have then, had it earlier. And so it's it's it was an affirmation, and after I I truly left academia heartbroken because it was a breeding ground for narcissists because it was not addressing anything about a, a, a cultural change or empowering students to think that way. Students were pleading with me, where are you going? We'll go with you. You're the last classroom of a humanitarian overview where we feel heard. And, and, and they're treating students like uh, clients and, it's, and they're struggling for their enrollment because people are dropping out because everything's so vast, you could online. You can you can access so much and educate yourself. And well, so, you, you just hit the nail on the head. It, it, this this the whole online thing has gr opened up to the point where what you're saying. I mean, you could do it anyway, but now it's real easy to do. And so this moment of the pandemic, it's like people have anticipated this moment yeah. that we were careening off and that we were going to destabilize it. So something dramatic was going to happen. So here it is, where everybody is forced to that paradigm of the universal uh, the online the the global, local, working globally, thinking locally, online university where you could take any class. It's already a model after the master's classes where celebrities teach a class of their specialty. Those are like very popular. Have you ever so, watched any of those? Oh, I signed up for a Steve Martin acting class once or comedy. What was it? I, I'm really interested because I, 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 I just, that's not my, you know, I don't, I try to do anything that's being given to me. I will not do, you know, like that. Like, yeah, yeah. So I think, I, mean? I think, and so that's interesting. And that being away from academia, these two years of teaching myself online, there's more things for growing your soul and for, for therapy and for addressing problems than, than therapy paid for. And yeah. so I, isn't that fascinating? That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I've been transformed. I was very traumatized. I was really had PTSD. And I heal I healed through the online resources that amazed me and then and then investigated so many things and then got the critique, discovered Chris Hedges, got the underlying Oh my God, Chris Hedges, that's heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's he's like telling us what it is and how we got here and telling us what you know what wrong and why. And he's the guy, and then Cornell West and Angela Davis. So so the cultural critique, the political critique. The economic critique, the the soul esteem. Or these are the times to grow our own souls. If we don't, the only way to transform the world is to transform ourselves. And so I've done it. That I've been immersed in my own educating myself at last. So you're, I mean, you're, you're I, but I'm I'm hearing two mixed metaphor no, metaphors, two mixed things here. I'm hearing the online thing is one thing. I'm hearing the COVID thing is another thing that converged for you. Is that what I'm hearing, or or is the COVID thing too short? in this okay. picture um because it's only been a year i mean it's over a little over a year it has but it is resultant of the infrastructural and institutional breakdowns that have been brought wow. us to this economic disaster to so it is interconnected yeah no I, that's why i asked i mean I, i'm i'm with you there it's yeah. just that i when i was going to tell you when i got off the bus First of all, I'm talking to six people on the bus just to walk off. I mean, it's the first time there's been six people on the bus, first of all. So it was like, wow, six people on the bus. And the bus driver told me that, that today so far they'd had 100 people, which is amazing. They were lucky if they had 10 people all day. But, uh, was it going strictly just to the vaccine? On a route. Oh, yeah, one route. Yeah, but still, it's a lot. You know, 100 was like, wow. And the campus had the kids out because the sun's out. You know, so all they were walking, you know, whatever. But uh, so get off the bus after saying bye, goodbye, 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 and then walk right into somebody else. And mm -hmm. we both started lamenting, well, this has been great because we're both, well, he's even older than I am, but you know, the point is we're older. And it's kind of like, yeah, this has been wonderful for all these reasons you're saying. But the problem is the world is now opening back up again. And we were like looking at each other going, is this age related that we're acting this way? Or do we just want to stay in this cocoon and be happy? <laughs> I think that it's evidence that we live in an overstimulated. Yeah. We're not built to take in this much information and this much stimulation. Well, We're you can't. You, you, there's only 24 hours in the day. And and um, it goes 24 seven. And and something that's true. And and but at the same time, they say we're shifting from being five sensory to multi sensory. So they're also saying we're co in a co evolutionary trajectory where. We're going from the uh, material to the more energetic. So somehow, yeah, this model, know. this model of everything being a, a, a simulacra, a representative, 
the, the um, um, I'm, I'm hearing doing another Zoom meeting. I oh, did you? Well, that's okay. We're, we're good. No, no, no. I was going to tell you. No, I was going to tell you this idea because in, in the next Zoom meeting, you know how if I, I was going to read a letter as if I'm reading a letter in the Zoom meeting, but I was oh, going oh, to. Oh, oh, hey, yo, Junior. Yeah, Ken. <laughs> Yeah, that's better. Reverse. Okay, stop. Pause. Forward. Hi, <laughs> Bruce. Right, Bruce. Yeah, yeah, there you are. Get your face. Get your face you, down. If you can bend over and get back up, bend over. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you to get stuck in that position. <laughs> He's, he's got a long white ponytail, too. He's I know. Before, before he runs off to the store and gets his purple eyes, what's the price of eggs this week? <laughs> Yeah, he checks the best prices. I know. <laughs> yeah, he does. But what are what is it? I want to know. Do you know the price of eggs? Really? That, yeah, right. Oh, I didn't check, but um uh, uh, because they went up I, here. I've been getting them at uh, Trader Joe's. They they have the best prices right now. Yeah. Ah, oh, God, I'm uh, envious. A dollar. <gasps> Uh, oh, power 30 or so. so oh. There you go. You oh, that's so depressing. So I ran out the other day, right? And we have a country, a little country village store down the street, which is wonderful, but everything's like skyrocket, the prices, right? And so for me to go to town to get my dollar fifty eggs means I have to spend two hours of walking along back. Oh. So being a cheapskate, I said, "Oh, I'll I'll go to the country store and buy their their uh, egg sandwich every morning instead, which cost seven ninety five. So after four days, I bought two months worth of eggs. If I would have bought just normal eggs, <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> to save money. <laughs> wow, good for you. Yeah, it was eh, wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to What are you gonna make? Exactly. Right, right. I'm gonna, yeah, right. I, I spend two hours and get a dozen eggs for a dollar fifty, or I pay up the one. Where are you living? Um, in a house. <laughs> no, no. I mean, what what location? Oh, Norwich, Norwich, Vermont, next to Hanover, New Hampshire. Oh, oh okay. You you should know that area. I think yes, where Dartmouth is. The college. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's great. Well, here. I mean, look. I mean, Jesus. It's daytime. I mean. Hey, got uh, skylights. <laughs> Huh? Oh, the from your window. Yeah. It's got you got land. Yeah. Hey, oh, how lovely. Look. Looks yeah, nice. The, the oh, that's really look. lovely. They're yeah. Just, they're just starting. Wow, that's really lovely. <laughs> yes, it is. It's gorgeous. No complaints here. Just the price of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> is that an attic or is that the second floor? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's very yes. nice. It's it's an add-on to the to the main house, so it's yeah out over. Matter of fact, when I walked to town yesterday morning, this lady came running up to me and thanked me because I had herded her chickens back up the road. <laughs> oh. So I should have I should have taken one and just brought it home with me, you know. Here, I'll get the other chair. Here. So Ken, we're we're gonna prod into your personal life here next week. Yeah, we're gonna do a Zoom. Oh, we are. Oh, on, yeah. A week from Monday. Oh. So the why, thing, why would you want to do that? Well, the thing well is, you know, we're bored. <laughs> okay, but what I think is most interesting is that Ken's made a lot of photographs of me, and I've made some. Of yeah, them. that's and what I, I thought. That's that's the crux of it, and it's like, um, crux of what. To share. Uh -huh. Yeah, I want to share something, and I know every there's four people besides myself, so it's five people, right? So it's a lot of. But I thought if we each took maybe ten or fifteen or twenty minutes alone to show our work or say whatever we wanted to say, that would be most productive because then everybody can hear each other because you're all meeting for the first time. So it's just among the five of us. Well, four. I'm gonna try to shut up, but it's gonna be hard. But, but you want you you're you're bringing who are the, the other four people? of us together. It's another couple. A uh, guy's name's Pat O'Neill. You might know his film work from the California, L.A. scene, and uh, a Did younger you woman. His work, so we could see it, or um... yeah, I'll send you some links. Okay. Okay. Yes. And then uh, his wife, who's a younger, uh, a younger. Literally, we were talking about this earlier. She's really young. With I think she's, she's like 40. in the forties or early fifties. Uh, and he's about your age, Ken. Ken's gonna want a younger girlfriend now. What are you talking about, Bruce? <laughs> well, maybe this could be like one of those switch things. What do they call that? <laughs> oh. 
swaps like they had in the 70s. Yeah, I'll turn my camera off and we'll just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you guys alone. <laughs> And Martha, her name's Martha Colburn, and, she, and she's a great a super eight millimeter animator and performance person that's okay. been making really incredible stuff and okay. working mostly with musicians doing live concerts and her uh -huh. full of energy, full of beans. <laughs> uh, you'll, you yeah, I'm them? sure you'll be entertained by one or both of them much. And how'd you meet them? I've known Pat forever. I think you know his films were big uh, in the early '70s. You know, so they were there around. They were, you know they were shown at school and stuff like that. And then somehow or other we met, and he started. He ran an optical printing company, for real in Hollywood, to make money to stay alive. And so he did like stuff on Star Wars and things like that. But his own artwork was all matted work and highly. Uh, uh, conceptual but matted, you know, images added on top of images. So anyhow, at some point we met and we became friends and eventually I started showing his films around. I started touring them around the world and stuff. And uh, I don't know how else to explain Pat. I'll just send links. Oh, you know what I mean? Old? How do you explain a friend, you know? Right, sure, sure. How old is he, please? I don't know. I think at the youngest he's 84, I think. Okay. Okay. He might be older. He might be more your age, uh, uh, Ken. So. I'm 88 now. Yeah. Well, we were thinking about having us home with Martha, and we were thinking about having a sleeping corner <laughs> where people could have naps. The youngest would want to take a nap. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, there's all these possibilities. The less the older I get. Well, I know I'm being crude, but but it just it's just serendipity that this is the relationship, you know, the four. So what made you think of us meeting together? What was it? What alchemy are you striving? Well, one was the us doing the thing last year when we met again. You know, it was fun, and I wanted to re you know rebond and that and, and Ken, you know, we we didn't you know because of that the way that went, we didn't get really to meet or anything. It was kind of just on the cuff, and then um, somehow or other, I think through Martha because uh, of her pushing Pat's stuff and pushing things for Pat now. Uh, we met, and then I'd never met her, and she had a piece she did with the London Symphonetta two years ago that's online. It's wonderful. It's a long piece. And I wanted to show that because, you know, it was right as COVID hit, so I don't know who's seen it and who hasn't. But then I started thinking about you guys, and it made sense because of the, uh, the entry points. All the entry points are similar. So, so when we talk, do you show the work or do you show visuals? Well, that's why I'm glad, Ken, you walked out now because what, what I did was to, to, to coerce everybody into this, I ran around online and found what's there. So there's some nice videos. There's a really nice video of Ken walking through. There's two of them, of you walking through your life's work at somewhere or other. And you tell various stories that are good. Yeah, that was okay. Mm -hmm. That, that might have been. But there's another one of an opening that I'd like, I'll send you. Okay, please do. Okay, okay, so we have something in the back pocket. Yeah. And then that led me to somehow seeing the pictures that you took of Marilyn, or Marilyn and you did together, because they're online somewhere or other. And and then it all started making sense. And and obviously Marilyn's very vocal, so, you know, we could put her anywhere. <laughs> Plus, I haven't really seen her work. Well, for it's huh? One of those photographs, like, I, I mean... If the ones they're playing with Marilyn or yeah, yeah, that's the ones I saw. Monroe, so I set it up and I go here. I yeah. mean, it's like we do it together. We do it together, but of it's about. You do. I mean, but I it can... is play. It's inter what I found interesting is that the idea of meta and the photographs about photographs, and then um, I'll send you what I just realized was uh, my uh, description. Okay. Okay. Meta okay. Marilyn. And if, so, so I'll send you a couple little things of them. So you'll, you'll get you guys mesh. Your 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 sensibilities all mesh. That's the whole reason. And the age stuff I said, and the couple stuff, blah blah blah. And the city salons have been wonderful lately. I mean, I don't know what. Maybe it's the COVID, you know, or whatever. But then really these fun talks where. And people so then, do. what you posted as a Zoom, and then other people can view it or something, or no, it's live. Oh, and, then, and then and then and uh, then while it's live, whoever shows up, we've had anywhere between twenty-five and sixty people that show up, and sometimes they talk, sometimes they just sit there and watch like a show, and believe it or not, they last about three hours. It's like been oh really? Well, two hours and forty-five minutes for sure, wow. and some of them been going over lately. Uh, so uh, and and it's it's just been fun. I mean, really been good fun to share 
okay. this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It sounds. Well, it sounds yeah. Fun. If you if you want to pull some pictures out to to just show in front of the camera. Or we could we could send you how do what was the best way to send you images like. Well, when we do the show, we'll wait because I I I won't bug you about this. We'll just do it, right? Okay. Because when I found that it's really good not to talk ahead of time. It's better just to do the show, you know, and and go with it. But there's a thing called screen share, which uh, I'd have to make you host. I don't know how to do all this right now, but I can make you host, and I screen share. And when I screen share, here I'll give you an example. Um, hold on a second. Okay, now you can see my desktop, right? Uh huh. Okay, so you know if you have some pictures, uh, like there, you can just put them up. That's the birth of his daughter. Yeah, oh, there. <laughs> Thirty years ago today, right? Twenty-one. Twenty-one years ago today. Twenty-one years ago today. Isn't that great? Uh -huh. And you did you film it? Yeah, that's what that's from. That, well, oh. that's not it. That's before. That's the mother. <laughs> Is that your daughter? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no, the the other scene. Oh, this one. I, I can always... That's his daughter at birth, and then that's that... his daughter at 21. Is this your daughter? <laughs> well, that's what started it all. <laughs> yeah, right, right. That's that's Doris Day, believe oh, it or not. James Cagney. Yeah. Yes. He, he, his name in this movie is something like Gimp. <laughs> and he's chasing her. It's it's totally film noir, but with Doris Day and Cagney. Yeah. Great. Uh, and the other day we did a one on Joseph Cornell that was just great. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I missed that. I really is there it's any great. was that filmed? Is there any way to see that again or not? Well, what what's been happening is the library for after twenty some years, you know, that was home at work or used to be home at work. Um, yes, they're they're eventually going up online at the library. And okay, so great. So I that, because, that one together. I'm really sorry I missed that. I really. Yeah, well, they've, they've, they've all been really, what's, what's this one here? Okay, here's something. This is Pat O'Neill. This is, he has a little, he lives in, in Pasadena, and behind his house he built a studio years ago. And in the studio he made this set. It's, I think it's like about 10 by 10 on a table on sawhorses. And, you know, that fence is maybe about an inch and a half high. So what they're doing right now is they're starting to film a movie on this miniature set. <laughs> wow. I mean, like really small. Wow. And I guess they're going to then insert real people. Wow. You know what wow. I mean? Wow. Uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He, he's, 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 they're, they're both wonderful. And, and they're wonderful in completely different ways. Do you want to see what I'm working on right now, which is mind bending? Sure, sure. Since you're here and I got your attention. <laughs> and, and then also, like, watch like this. The... This is this is hot off the press. It came in two days ago. It's Robert Flaherty's film from 1925 of Manhattan. Mm. Huh. Mm. But look at the quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. Is that mind bending? Yeah, right. Beautiful tonalities. Huh. Wow, nice. Oh my word! It looks like a pyramid. Wow. Yeah, it's like it's like today. Right. Right. And so we've been working on this for half a year, and uh, he's just getting ready to, to really uh, let loose. You can see in the middle of the wow. skyscraper, there's a man standing right in the smack of the middle. Oh, yeah, right there. You can right never there. see that before. Yeah, right. And the steam and the, the industry, right? Industrial. Yeah. Just I, I forget which building that is. I know I, I should know the name by now. <laughs> I've studied all these buildings. Top is very strange. Yeah, it's completely perverse. There's no grain. That's one of the reasons it's strange. Right, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But it it still looks like a motion picture film, except for it's like today. <laughs> huh. Hmm. It's a weird building. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that that's why I should remember the name. It's one of those ones that stood out for years. You know, and that's a Trinity. Is that uh, still city there? Hall. That's a city hall. Yes, it is still there. Huh. I think I shouldn't say that one hundred percent. It's interesting because it, at the time it looked like futuristic and it still has that quality, but then it, it's layered with Art Deco and. Right. Well, it, yeah, it, it, yeah, right. It, it, I mean, the buildings now are so bizarre they're making that, you know, it's just. Uh, that's still there. That's the city hall building. Huh. And, and all the steam coming out of it is like a metaphor for the industrial revolution and for the steam yeah. ahead and full steam ahead. And, and this was a Trinity building. This oh, this building is still there. Castle. There's one of these you can see a person. Well, you can't see it now because it went by fast. They pulled a window shade shut. 
Nice. Yeah. That's looking downtown towards the, uh, uh, you know, the Statue of Liberty. The, oh, they're beautiful. Uh, upper. It's just the, 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 the footage that came from was so crap. I mean, total crap. Oh, and you re, re you um, revamped them, reclaimed Yeah, them. That's, that's the whole, that's what's going on here. This has been digitally processed. Wow. Wow. And he came up with a method to do the foreground and gray tones on one end and the background and gray tones on another end and put them back together again. Hmm. And in the process, more gray tones came out. This it's was very contrasty yeah. footage. Wow, it is beautiful. The tonality yeah. is just great. Yeah. yeah, no, it's it's genius on every level. I and, you know it needs tweaking, obviously, but you cannot see half the stuff you're seeing now. So, so the AI, the artificial intelligence, kind of rethought the grain structures, and and you know what I mean. It took what was there and then thought oh. it through. Anyway, it, it's look at this. I mean, it two is pieces. Beautiful. We've done three films together, and each one he comes up with something new. I mean, he's just a genius. Uh, hmm. And then there's Flaherty's original photography is, you know, is quite good. Right, <laughs> right. it is. Anyway, I thought you'd like to see that. Yes. Yeah, sorry, no, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I don't, don't want to bore you to death here. They're no, they're cost. No, the history is fascinating. I, I have a friend who photographed every building on Woodward Avenue in the '70s. And in Detroit. In Detroit, yeah. That that you could make a timeline and uh, to layer contemporary images against. It's, it's fascinating. And, and to see that it's stuff, yeah. The whole revival of um, historical images. No, I'm fascinated by the history of that. Back when, um, this is like 2008 or 9 or 10, somewhere there. When, anyway, when I did the Manhattan film, when that came out, some museum, I can't remember which one, did a thing where they hired these people to go out and remake the film today whatever year that was, 2010. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the images they shot in high def video looked like what we just saw. Wow. But of 2010. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this these processes can make no time. You know, they That's could just right. press time to, it doesn't exist anymore. You know and what I mean? That, and the then and now next to each other is so fascinating. However, that can be viewed. Well, I guess, but you know, New York. I mean, from my my own personal thing, from New York, it's so different now. I mean, it it it's grown up all around. Almost everything we're seeing there is is hidden by other buildings that are wow. huge. That are you know what I mean? They're mm -hmm. like uh, uh, they're just crowding. I mean, if you go, the last time I was there, I went to that building, the one they did the pan, the Trinity Trinity building. Mm -hmm. I went down to that area. It's right in City Hall area there. So City Hall's still there, and that Trinity building's there. But it's surrounded by these mega. What's that woman who died a couple years ago? Does incredible design buildings. Um, uh, everybody says they're the big cunts. <laughs> Ooh, oh, wow. oh, she's great. I mean, she's incredible. That's, that's what they are. Okay. <laughs> Zahadi, whatever her name is. Anyhow, it's you know, there's all these futuristic things around these old things. There's, that are, there's, there's, oh, oh, you mean that uh, Iranian woman? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, really great architect mm -hmm. she, she died about four or five years ago um um but yeah the buildings are bigger is my whole point and all everything's crowded and, and wilder and you know what i mean but uh it's just amazing what they can do now it's like it's like it, they can do anything well, the, the, the female architect in chicago who does the wave where the the you know, the bang i forget her name bang bang b-a-n-g yeah, I wish I would. I wish I would have been an architect instead of a photographer. You know. <laughs> the next life. Yeah. So yeah, pull some pictures together, and we can just show them. And you can come and go in this thing. You know, uh, on Monday. Okay, so it's not too onerous, but it, it should be fun. And if a conversation starts, great. And if it doesn't, well, conversation is my favorite thing. Well, of course. It, well, you don't have a problem with that. I don't know what Ken's interests are. You know, it might be something on TV this I morning. I pull them out. I pull them out. So Ken talks more when I'm with him. Oh, you do? You can. Yeah. You can. Well, you can. Yeah. So I think okay. that's okay. my skill. Okay. Skill. Do you uh, think it, it would it would be better for you to have like a little space to do this in, like you know, your own space, so it's not a back and forth thing? I think we should each have our own space. I think so too. I get that yeah. feeling. So that we see what the dynamic is between the couple or with 
what each person wants to present. Yeah. What do you mean by your own, own space? Well, just so that we have some time to talk or about the work or. Oh, okay. Yeah, or show, if you want to show something. Yeah, yeah, I think that that's exactly okay, so, my problem too. So I, okay, so I can send you, I can send you some things. And then uh, there's an interesting article about Ken, about. Uh, and, is there, and is like there such a thing as a non-interesting article about Ken? Do we? Yeah. Tell me like about the ones that are not interesting. Oh, there's been there's <laughs> been some nasty ones, yeah. Oh, really? Uh, You're kidding me. One real nasty one. But yeah. that's that's oh, his God. history, and that's okay. Beginning. That's not. I, I but, was being facetious. I was making but, fun. But this yeah. one, this one is very nice because it's like it's like the Chicagoan who pioneered the selfie. Which I don't know that if that's right. I don't so, think that's right. Exactly. Yeah, I know. So, can, maybe we can change the name of the program. Is is this true or not? Let's debate. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But he did. But he did introduce the self consciousness of the of the photographer in the image, right? Right, but see, the selfie's a whole different thing. Yes, I know it diminutizes it in a, in a way. It's just, it's just, you know, I right now personally, I, I, you know, I'm showing you that stuff I just showed. You. I'm so excited, and blah blah blah, but. I'm not excited about my own work or making work at all myself because it seems like redundant in some respects, right? Well, so I think that's what collaboration is like the most exciting yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so that's what it is. I think, I think uh, Ken wasn't used to collaborating, but I do. But I think those images of me are both of our creation. And well, those are great. I mean, that, I mean, when I saw those, I cracked up. I went, "Oh, this is perfect." <laughs> Right. But uh, yeah, I, I know. I mean, I, it's funny. I love work. I love looking at work, but I have no interest in making any work. I'm, you know, taking care of my old work and stuff. But you know what I mean? It's just not my. I guess it's too easy, and it's okay. too much. You know this guy's. Oh my! I know. I know him. You know? <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah, you yeah. Really he's the Miami guy. You got yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He's great. Oh, did you get a Zoom meeting with him and Ken? Oh, jeez. <laughs> That'll cost you. <laughs> I don't know. That's a you know that's an interesting thing. The other guy he you know who he's pals with is Dave Barry. Do you know that guy? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. They're all the same kind of time period because they were all wow. in the papers together. What would it take together. to have the writers? To so how do you know him? From that period, there, a lot of my friends are, are Miami News and Miami Herald people from the seventies oh. and eighties, and okay. that was, that was their breeding ground. You know, so wow. that you know, there was a certain group that's. A certain professional group with newspaper people. Wow. Well, yeah. So but, do, you, do you know this book? No, I have not read that one. The last one I read was That's, 20 years ago. It's it's a, it's about Trump. Oh, is it good? <laughs> it's Ken, very Ken, good. Ken laughs out so loud. Right, hilarious. He laughs out loud reading it. Is it brand new then? Yeah, 20. Okay. okay. 20. Yeah. I'll look it up. I, I've, you know, at a certain point, I <laughs> lost interest in him. Yeah, it's the title is Squeeze Me. Yeah, well, it's yeah. He's still squeezing us, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. right. I, I mean, I, I can't imagine what you must feel like knowing he's taking money out of your checking account every day or every week <laughs> after you signed up for. Yay! Yeah, right, right, right. Isn't it amazing? Or maybe it makes you feel good. You know, maybe he's working for me every day. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I. Yeah, I can't. Richard still I thinks that uh, Obama is not a citizen. <laughs> My sister is like really wacko. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's funny. Obviously, a lot of people have these sentiments. So that that's more scary that there's so many of them. It's not yeah, that there's right. one or two. It's just that there's a lot of them. Yeah, that's right. You would think that uh, just going to work or something would straighten them out. You know what I mean? That's right. Like, that's right. How can you? What, do you think about this all day long, you know? <laughs> There's 74 million of them. That's what I meant. That's the scary part. It, it's, yeah, that's very frightening. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it's terrifying. The um, I told her I got my shot today, my first shot, you know, and so it's kind of like the world theoretically is opening up again, you know? Yeah. But, but I don't want to go anywhere. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's it's a good cocoon. This place. I know. I like it, too. We like it, too. We like it a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, I get you. We hear you. But you're in the middle of town, so to speak. I mean, you're in a, a big city. I mean, so you're, but you're in your literal cocoon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. We call it our urban igloo because there's a lot of, um, you know, glass blocks. It's all out of glass blocks. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that gorgeous. I can't. I just can't imagine leaving this little sphere right at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why we have a we have a rich uh, interiority, a creative life. Friends, we have a richness of life, and a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't have that. Yeah, 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 and and they 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 don't understand in reverse how you can be right. That's exactly. I yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm from another planet in terms yeah. of my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm well, another that, species. Yeah, you you know, Ken, Ken, I'm still sitting here amazed. Are, is, are you going to get Ken a wig for the show? <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, we have a mask. Uh, we have some uh, medieval masks. From uh, the plague. Yeah. Perfect. You're you're signed up. You're you're on board. I I I will take a look for that book. I was telling uh, uh, Marilyn earlier that uh, I'm glad you walked by because I wanted to say hello. But I I have to run unfortunately. It's <laughs> oh. you know that kind of day thing. But I'm glad we talked. I, you know, right? Oh, great. Yeah. Shared with you some. Wonderful seeing you. Yeah. No. No. It'll be fun. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, you are. Oh, 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 speaking of, okay, that brings up another issue on the thing of the talks. Um, another thing I'd like to try. We have lots of costumes, so we got. No, to no, I know this. That's what that's what made me it clicked. I, I also I want to try things this time. You know, usually there's stream of consciousness, and it probably will In be. In fact, but... you could cut. You could cut, and then when you cut and you cut back to us, we'll have a different thing on. Well, that's what I was getting at. Is is I want to try to get the audience more involved because usually people watch these things. It's like a, you know, like watching a show or something. It's 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 so sure, sure. It's so weird. You have this thing where everybody can talk but nobody sure. talks. <laughs> you were talking about something like giving them assignments, though. But if it's about couple and love, no, 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 no. Let me let me be a little clearer. Uh, each of you think of something, and we'll see if it works out, or let me know, or email me, or something. But at a certain point, we'll just say, okay, everybody's going to turn on their mic and turn on their thing, and they're going to do this, whatever this is. And and I know Martha's really good at this. I don't know what Pat's going to do or not do. You I know I... to put on their masks. Well, that, there you go. That's my point. I'm coming around in a big circle. I was going to tell you, I got this package. There was all these problems with getting a package delivered. Everybody put on their mask for a moment, and then we'll put on these masks. And it was four right. pairs of jeans from Walmart, right? It took me two months to get this package from Walmart. It was right down the street because I had wanted them to send it as opposed to go two there. Two months? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it has a lot of baggage with it. But I was just going to try the four pairs of pants on is what I was going to do. <laughs> so it could be anything. But it hit me, even if it's singing happy birthday. I mean, you know, I was thinking like tomorrow, how am I going to deal with Sonia? You know, is there a way to sing happy birthday to Sonia tomorrow? Hmm. Hmm. Um the bus isn't running, so it's hard to go out there and stand in front of her window. I could do that. <laughs> well, how could you record it? Can you record it on a Zoom and then send it? No, back? it ends up. I was going to use that 1977 picture phone thing. It ends with us singing somebody happy birthday. And do you have that full? We're just going to play the us singing from 100 years ago. <laughs> do you have that full thing, four-hour thing that you recorded of us posted that we could see your access it, or have it, ourselves it's all there just just put punch in picture phone primitives and you'll find the links okay picture okay. phone it's 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 uh, there's like five or six different versions out there picture phone primitives yeah i have 27 hours of footage of picture phones of, of that night people took we were there taking pictures and there was a camera crew there and there was the recordings from the various things and each of them has something different so it's bizarre. This completely one thing has at least seven different versions of it. <laughs> so at some point, it will get edited into something. It will, but then, but then, you know, people may want to have it edited. I mean, I, of course, I was looking for with when I had my glasses and my eyeballs coming out of my head. And yeah, yeah. Well, depending which feed was going on, there's ones where you're full screen, your eyes are popping out. There's other ones where you're the tiny little corner, right. and there's yeah. others where it's just you know, missed it totally, you know, so right, it's like, right. Right. yeah, yeah, but that was, that was, that was a fun I'll disaster. Have to look, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll look and see, but that was, that was quite fun. It was quite, it was really terrific to see Aldo too, you know, it was really great. Where were they? Where remember were they? that picture phone thing that we were all kind of, and remember, um, I had, I, I had, I was putting, I remember I was putting different, um, it's it, what started I, this I nightmare. I my phone for a while and I put on different glasses and, 
um, I know one thing. I'm thrilled that you're using Zoom now. This is so much easier. <laughs> right, right, because it was just the phone at that time. It wasn't Zoom. Yeah, this yeah before, we got it down now. Before any of us knew what Zoom was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got it down now. I think we can arrange a word for Ken. I was going to say, unfortunately, we all know too much about Zoom now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. Wow, haven't they become the normative now, right? I, you know, well, I, as I said, I've enjoyed this. It's it's been fun to talk to people, and, and yeah, it you know, is. Yeah, it is. You know, it's great. Out and touch people. I mean, yeah. I, I really wouldn't have seen you guys if it wasn't for the way that event went. I mean, you know what I mean? It was. It was no, I, yeah, this is marvelous. This is like I love this. It's almost like you're in our living room. It's a great thing. Yeah, I'm wondering though when they're going to come down on us with it though. It's still free. You mean, it's like, still make us open. Pay? Yeah. yeah, well, it's still open too. It's over over forty minutes, right? They haven't cut us off. We've been on over. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. No, they've been very generous. Yeah, it's been terrific. I wonder how they generate income for themselves. Oh, it's all the other back end crap they do. It's that's why I don't think they'll change because they're making so much money with you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. No, it's marvelous. It's, it's some, marvelous. sometimes, Marilyn. I hate to be crude, but sometimes it's better not to know how they're yeah. functioning. You know. <laughs> We had this guy on. You might know this guy from Chicago, Ken. Uh, John Jost. Do you remember him at all? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. We did one two weeks ago with him. Oh. Mm -hmm. I got to show you something before we get off the phone because it just came in the mail. And um, uh, he went on about. Oh, he's very radical. I mean, really. Marilyn, he makes you look like a piker. He's that <laughs> radical. <laughs> Yes. If yeah, if you're here, he's like <laughs> sorry. Um, so uh, what did he say? Uh, he was complaining about something, and then somebody came back. Oh, I know what it was. He actually he he somehow landed in Boston recently because he oh, he lives at other people. Well, he lives off of other people. I mean, that's the easiest way to put it. That's his lifestyle. He just has oh. done that forever, literally his whole life. So he's living with some cousin or somebody in, in Boston, and she's treating him really well, which is nice because he, he finally has like a home of sorts for a couple months. And so he actually watched some basketball game. There was some big college basketball game on. Was it last Sunday? I think it was. It was a pretty remarkable game, I guess. Championship, yeah. yeah. But he commented, I love the game, but then he said, oh, my God, I couldn't believe the car ads. You know, the ads, because uh -huh. he doesn't watch TV, right? So he said, what, over half of them were for these big SUV vehicles, and people acted like, oh, this is what we need, and we got to do it, and all that. and then, you know, But it's ecologically friendly, although the car itself is a disaster. You know what I mean? And <laughs> he ripped this thing to pieces six ways. And he said, what are there's like, there's like too many black people being shown because the media is being controlled now to make you happy. And that, it was. Wow, it's wow. nice. Yeah, right. It was right, but I feel I feel so sorry for this guy because he knows too much. Right, right, exactly. You can't see anything without right, right. You, the whole yeah, we're going to hell up at campus. But here, this came in the mail. He has been doing these great photographs. Those in different places. Yeah. Look at this. Magnum's closet. Oh, 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 oh. Um, Joseph Kudelka. Yeah, Joseph Kudelka. Wait, I can't see that. Let's see. Wait. Wait. This just came in the mail. Oh, what is that? Oh, wow. It's a collage that John made. Wow. You know, huh. a digital collage? Yeah. And he yeah. Said, he's fabric? Been, yeah. yeah, he's been dreaming about getting a big print made. So he should he nice. gave me he said, Do you want one? Because I said I like the picture a lot, right? And it's, I know it's hard wow. to see here. Okay. Nice. Huh. Yeah, very nice. But the deal is. He yes, he uh, had a friend somewhere other that was making big prints. You can do them at Costco's, and, oh. you, and you can do it online, right? So I went to look to see how much and everything, and I'm going down the list of prints, and I go, "Oh my God, you can get a five by six fleece blanket." <laughs> oh really? As a big print? Maybe that's how I should start printing my prints. So yeah, no, it, it it really is gorgeous. Uh huh. And I guess the only thing, the only negative, this picture has a lot of black in it, right? So. I guess it's sprayed, I guess, on somehow. Okay. So if you push the fabric one way, you know, you get the white as opposed to the, okay. you know, where the spray didn't okay. hit. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, it's it's a perfectly, uh, it's, okay, it's yeah, man, I'm beautiful. Gonna look for it. Yeah. Now that I don't have the university lab anymore to make big prints. 30 bucks. Nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm in. That's great. I, is that perverse? So, 
you know, you never know what'll happen. So um, we know a friend who knows Joseph Kodelka, who's the. Oh yeah. So um, he's still kicking. I is he? I didn't. Uh, he may be, but uh, he's like your friend. Uh, he he moves around. He doesn't have a, 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 a his own place. So like he he lived it uh, in a closet at Magnum for a long time. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Where the coffee maker was, you know, the broom yeah, closet. Right. That would be almost like hell on earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god he would sleep on the floor even when he stayed at a friend's house he would sleep on the floor because he didn't want his body to become comfortable on a bed wow he's hardcore i think somehow john was a student of his or something at some point well there he might be the this goes back in the 50s right. or 60s right i mean yeah. the, when he was, uh -huh. he was he was hanging out in chicago and he yeah. had and he had um yeah. Yeah. he was at uh, a dinner table with our friend, mutual friend who ran a gallery, and another woman who ran a, a gallery. And at this time, because he traveled so much, he had different children in different countries. Jeez. So, he had, so he had children to support. So there's this conversation where the woman is saying, Joseph, you have to step up to the plate and support these children. I will represent your work at my gallery if you let me, because it's time for you to be the father and support these kids. <laughs> so there was that conversation. So in fact, that work though, did his pictures, they, they did sell at some point, didn't they? Yeah, so I guess oh, she yeah, did represent yeah. them, yes. Big time. Good, good stuff, yeah. I remember, the, the, what, I can't remember them clearly at the moment, but I, I can remember clearly at some point he was using one of those really wide Pentex fisheye lens. Yeah, 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 he had those mural size, uh, um, uh, they were uh, not. They were uh, pan panoramas. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, panorama were, camera, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what it then was. Then he, he did all those photographs of the gypsies. Yes. Yes. And then yeah. when the Russians came into Budapest, was it? Or yeah, right. right. Or no, it was. Uh, it was a Czech. Uh, the main Prague? Czech city, Prague, Prague. I think. Where. where uh, the Russians came in because they were they didn't like what Prague was doing. Uh, yep, yep. Czechoslovakia was doing. So yeah, that's got, hard. He hard a lot of photographs. Yeah, down the central area. Yeah, a hardcore okay. life. I, you know, it, it, it it's funny. The, the, the a, a pal here now lives down the street is one of those guys. Uh, not one of those guys, but a Magnum guy. The the uh, uh, Jim Noctway, and uh, oh yeah, oh, I I like his work a lot. Well, it's phenomenal, but you know, I, I guess what I'm jumping here on is the fact of the story you're telling about. I mean, Jim's made like a ton of money, but you know, he's oh. I think, filthy rich. But but the point is, they lived bizarre lifestyles to mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. yeah. you know, right. Jim is traumatized to the nth degree, but you know, he'll never he'd, he'd never admit it in a hundred years. Right. 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 <laughs> from, right. from all those things and places and stuff right. he did, but. Um, what what is um one more I'll throw out one thing about him they they acquired all of his stuff at the museum here at Dartmouth they, they like three hundred thousand negatives or something I mean some oh, ridiculous wow. yeah right but here's the deal as our friend Biden <laughs> says yeah. re repeatedly he is obsessed with now with making prints so it's mm -hmm. not straight photographs. They're highly manipulated in the printing and the digital technology wow. made it even worse, wow. you know, really get into the minutia. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the stories I've heard, not necessarily from him that much because he's into it big time, but from people that have been helping him over the last four, five, six years, just horrific, you know, because he is that much of a stickler, you know, for that, whatever that means, that, that perfect image, which mm -hmm. in his case, they do end up being perfect, but... The process is torturous, so I don't know how much is his life, you know, that's, am I making any sense dripping over into that process, or if it really means something? I, I just don't know. I haven't seen the difference in the prints myself. So they have 300,000 negatives, which he won't let them show until he makes a print. Wow. That's <laughs> Because Henry Cartier-Bresson, right. Or Think about that for a while. <laughs> That seems just like counterintuitive. 
right? Well, no, it isn't. I'll tell you why. It isn't. I'll tell you why it isn't. Because we did this thing that one of the city salons, I think it was in this series, the first one, we did on Eugene Smith. Are those people that studied him and found all the negatives and found all the recordings and all this stuff? And it is just mind bending what that guy did. And I think that's Nogway's inspiration is this mm -hmm. you know, person that lives in the dark room <laughs> mm -hmm. where he really did make the prints in the dark room. You know, they, 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 gyms are straightforward without that, but mm -hmm. Smith, they're not. They're really, they were made in the dark room. <laughs> I don't Some think people really... aren't like the greatest interpreters of their own negatives. Yeah. Well, Smith, okay, I'll give you examples. The, 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 the Smith, there was, um, the focus of the program originally was on Pittsburgh. He went to Pittsburgh at some point. Oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah. And it all fell apart and this and that. But he, he did end up making about 2,700 prints. I mean, his prints, you know, of this mess or this, this mass of stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, but he left all the negatives you know you can get them the, the the actual negatives are somewhere and other and online the library of congress has a book that smith gave them so i was going through it with knockway like okay how are we going to do this somehow make these pictures we had this little project we were working on we're gonna we're gonna make the pictures and jim said yeah hey, it's never gonna happen right which blah 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 so, but it ends up it's true it would never happen because i picked a picture off of one contact sheet right and i went with it and then later, when I met these people for this talk, City Salon, there's a guy, Sam Stevenson, who did all this stuff on Smith for 20 years. Uh, when we found the picture somewhere online done, and I showed him the picture I picked, it was night and day. You know what I mean? From what's on the contact sheet to what... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, you, you, there was just... There was, no, there was no comparison. It was just... Hmm. Yeah, it was that radical. The, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The shift, mm -hmm. and he did that with every freaking image, and it was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's great, but horrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so I, I feel sad for Jim in some respects, but he'll get, you know, he'll get what he gets done, and then that'll be that. You know. Does he have money? You said he has money. He can hire. Well, they, 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 yeah, they you know, these guys. I mean, he was a Magnum guy for a certain period of time, and then he, I can't remember the name. I think I think it's called Seven. He formed his own company called Seven, okay. which is like Magnum, mm -hmm. but I think it's even higher up the scale of, of, mm -hmm. of stuff. And so I think right there alone with that company he makes a huge fortune, let alone his own work. He's mm -hmm. still to this day a contract photographer for time. Really? So, wow. 44 years. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's a legacy. Wow. So, right. You know, I mean, there's just wow. a ton of money there. And I know it was a year or two ago, uh, they let him do an assignment for a year, which was the first one he ever did here in the United States on opioids. And they actually printed a whole issue of time. It was just, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was, they'd never done that before of making yeah, it. I saw that. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's so yeah, neat. no, he's, 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 and he yeah. bought the other thing. There's a, a place on the college called Occam Pond. It's part of the college, and it's mm -hmm. where all the mega, mega, gazillion Dartmouth people buy their things. And he bought one about 10 years ago, so that tells you a lot. <laughs> I M O N E Y. <laughs> uh -huh. Which is good for him, but you know, it, it's, it's, uh, he, he earned it, as they say. Um, so what is that? He bought, they buy something that has their name on it. What is that? Oh, house, buy? house, property, house. Uh, you know these uh, these little mansions that are around this pond. You know the the, uh, <laughs> the gold on Golden Pond, for nice. Ching. You know the you wow. know yeah. It's Dartmouth. What do you want? I mean you know. Wow. Yeah, the other half. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But um. Yeah, he's he's an amazing guy. Um, I mean, the the pictures. Well, he's amazing too. He told me once. I forget. I, 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 I was taking a bus somewhere, or he was. But one of us, you know, at the bus station, waiting for the bus to New York or something. And um, oh, I know what it was. Aperture had just sent me two bags, tote bags, and they said to give one to Jim. And I was go. I was either going somewhere or he was, but I had my one with him. And I saw him. And said, oh, Jim, I got this thing. I can't give you mine because I something. I got this bag. He goes, you know, Bruce, there's only three things a photographer needs: his boots, a bag, and his cameras. Nice. <laughs> he walked, he walked off. Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> I just thought of something. I don't know why, but uh, whatever you were saying. But I, I was going to Providence one time, and uh, I was I had been, uh, napping on the train, and uh, I heard uh, Providence, and what was they were saying was Providence next stop. So I jumped off the train, <laughs> <laughs> and there there was this waiting room, you know, a train station there, and I I went inside. And I was sitting there and I thought, I, it, so, so, it felt so weird that something was off, you know? And what it was, was uh, there was a photograph Walker Evans did of this uh, interior of this uh, train station. And I was sitting there and that's why it felt so weird because <laughs> I remembered that photograph. <laughs> So that was the station. Yeah, right. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, okay. yeah, that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> but you know, like sitting in one of his photographs. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I suspect that's what they're going to do to us at some point. They're going to do the 3D thing or they're going to put us wherever, you know, the yeah, funny right. farm or, right. you know, yeah. Right. It's yeah. all going to be. That's Which, you know, sort of pisses me off because the whole point of why I make or made anything at all is because it was what I was thinking I was seeing, not what I was really seeing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, the idea that they could figure that out and regenerate it, which they mm -hmm. probably are doing right now as we're talking, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. pisses me off because it's like, okay, well, then what do I do? You yeah, know, but, but that's, I mean, that's what. You know, that's what heart mind, that's what the heart's for. That's well, what the heart's for. But I'm just wondering, when when do they figure out how all that works? I mean, they're, they, I would think they're damn close. Oh, uh, I think there's different juries out about that. Yeah? There's different, um, yeah, because there, there was, there's another conversation about that, um, as if artificial intelligence is modeled after how our brain thinks, but that's, so there's a different camps. There's different camps. So there's um, there's different, uh, and and one one speaks to um, there that it's much more complex as it rolls around through our brain, and then the other one is much more technically oriented, where it's like a simulacrum, and they think that we're all going to eventually become holograms, and it's going to be you know we're not going to be real, and we're going to project our own holographic world. So. There's definitely two camps. There's the more human humanistic, and then there's the more um, energetic um, transhumanism. Yeah, I, I suspect you know what you're saying is 100% correct, but it just it just bothers me a lot with all this information. We were talking about being online and da 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 da. All this like all these Zoom calls. I mean, there's this year has probably you know skyrocketed the relationship of people actually having conversations like we're doing right now. Right, you know what I'm right. saying. So that information can, if it can be read, is being read or stored or kept somewhere, and from that you learn patterns and da 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 da. -da you know what I mean? And you, I would think they could start mapping. Okay, I guess another way. When I look at movies, let's if I see like that movie I showed you, Doris Day, like there's a whole bunch of things I see. Just Hollywood movies alone, there's certain codes that are in those movies and different actors do certain things and different story writers do different things and different directors, you know, you see all the way down the line and you can predict them pretty much, you know, and there, there's all yeah, there these, is that. there's all these geniuses that navigate 20, 30, 40, 50 year careers and do all this stuff, but there's still that person's personality or something underneath it all. And there's all that. And that used to be really specialized. Now everybody can make a movie. So you can, those ideas are transferable on a huger number of movies. <laughs> but there's still sometimes the power of the presence of an actor. There's still that that can carry a film. Well, Marilyn, Marilyn's a great example. You, you couldn't, yeah, that's right. That's you right. turn the camera on that's and right. that's when Mar there, there are a lot of actors right. are that. You turn that's the right. camera on and that's when they're. That's the right. That's right. And there is still, you know, with us being human, there's still some with a presence and others that walk in a room and they're invisible. 
but but that doesn't speak to what what's what even the great from Cornell West to even Chris Hedges and they have that they have a conversation about this that however much all this comes down I mean both of them are very spiritual and they end their incredible critique of this time with about the mystical power of love that even science can't measure. Okay, but how can I, let me throw this at you another way. Cornell West was hanging out here a couple years ago for some woman he was he was dating. I can't, I'm sorry, I don't really? remember her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they brought it, I'm not sure what, it was a chicken and egg thing. I don't know if he came Still up dating. because of her or they brought him <laughs> up and then they had this relationship. But the offshoot of it was is that he kept coming up afterwards because he's down, it was, in, you know, at Harvard, down in Boston, right? So I know him from back Harvard days, 20, 30 years ago or whatever that was, you know, so I know him from back then. I'd love to meet him. Showing up here again, it was like great to have personal contact versus the image. Yeah. You know, because yeah, he's all, to he's him. this big show, is what he is. You know, I mean, that, you know, it, it, that's what his import is. The, the, I mean, the teaching's one thing, but the show's the other thing. But there was one Sunday afternoon or something, I was sitting on campus and it was dead as a doornail in the main green, and he was coming across it. And I saw him coming. I said, I haven't talked to him in a while. So I just got up and walked the 50 yards. And we had about a 30 minute talk about shit. I mean, literally about shit. Just, you know, nice. but, yeah, but but colloquial, blah, blah, blah. You okay. Know, you know, not the, the heavy but how stuff. great. And it was like really fascinating to think of, of course this guy has to have a normal life somehow mm -hmm. <laughs> amongst this other mm -hmm. life, yeah. you know? And it's hard to reconcile those kind of things for me. Maybe because I've been around a lot of these star people and stuff, you know, and it's very weird that world they live in on one end and then the at home does it make any sense i don't know sometimes i feel like that being with ken because we're in a love relationship and then sometimes i go oh my god my sweetheart is ken josephson so i mean i experienced but, that but i don't know i don't know ken well enough to say if you're like you, are you somebody else when you walk out the door ken <laughs> oh. Oh, he's totally ken 100 percent of the time well, that was my He's memory. like the most integrous person I know. I mean, and the most uh, modest. Unless, unless you 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 uh, 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 dealt with us minion students in a different way than you did, you know, others. He's, he's Ken you know, every second of being Ken. Yeah, he's. Yeah, I mean, it was nice. Was it was Ken. pleasant. I mean, there there were some people in that department that weren't nice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you know what I mean, there was there was stuff going on, and it was yeah. yeah. It was pretty harsh if you weren't into that. Um, uh, oh, but I, I didn't pay much attention to it. But didn't I, <laughs> didn't you feel like the like Ken and Joy and Robert Heineken? They were really great people. They they were had an integration of who they were. Well, I knew they were great people, kind. I didn't really know Joyce that well at all. I I probably knew Robert more, but I knew Robert when he was coming and visiting, not mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there all the time. But he was so humane in his teaching. Oh, he was right on point. No, he was, he was, he was, yeah. he was excellent. I, I mean, the, 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 the person I remember, well, how can I put this? The most poignant memory, poignant, poignant memory I have teaching, a teaching memory, which was also very instructive of the whole thing, was at one of those review sessions. And I don't know if I told you a story or not. So if I did, tell me to shut up, I'll stop. But one of the reviews, I was using my camera, just photographing everything all the time. I wasn't looking through the finder. It's just, this as I walk uh -huh. up and back Wilson Avenue or street, go and get the train, you know, for a year. So the review came and I had, I just I made three or 400 prints and I put them all up, all the way around. You were up using up. your camera like a film camera, right? Well, it ended up being a film actually. So yeah, but back then I was just trying to get down Wilson street without getting killed. <laughs> it was back when it was like hillbilly heaven and just yeah. you know, really mm -hmm. desperate. So. I put up three or 400 prints all the way around the room. I think like, they were 10 deep or just literally. And so the review started, it was one of those end of the year review things. And whoever the different people were, except for one, I'll only mention one person's name because it was great. They all went nuts. And everybody picked to their proclivity of what the images they like. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, instead of seeing it as a totality? Yeah, it was sort of like selecting. <laughs> and yeah, then right, really yeah. selecting, right. but then you criticizing. <laughs> You should have had Sonia in there. Right. Well, exactly. It, it was really kind of funny. I mean, in the sense of, you know, what I'm, the way I'm telling you now. But the person that had the best reaction, and it was best reaction about the pictures they 
picked was I think his name was Harold Brown. Was that Brown? Brown? Oh, Harold, but I can't remember. Harold Jones. Harold, uh, Harold Jones. Jones. I'm sorry, Jones. Harold, so, Alan. 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 Jones. Alan. Yes, Alan. yes, yes, yes. Oh, older fellow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, and I think he did large format work. I think his yeah, own. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But his were the most wonderful because it really yeah. did reflect, one, it reflected him, and he was being totally honest. It wasn't like he was yes. trying to do anything except for just relate yes. what he could relate, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, he was marvelous, yes. But I think he I failed it. or something. Could you fail back then? I think I failed because <laughs> there was no message, right? It's just this. But, but if anybody would, would see it now, they would see that it led to what you're doing now. Well, I might be the son of Ken Josephson and the conceptualist, blah, blah, selfie, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it would be any better today. But it, it was it was a memorable event, like of not bringing anything into the room and getting tons back. <laughs> uh, if I make if that makes any sense, Harold Jones wasn't it? Harold Jones? Yeah, yeah. Wasn't that his name, Ken? No, Alan. 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 Oh, Jones. Alan. Alan Jones. Alan. Harold yeah. Allen. Harold Allen. Yeah. Yeah. It was Harold Allen. Yes. Yeah. No. No. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. He. Yeah. He. He kissed my hand at a party. Yeah, that's about the level of what I'm saying, right? Yes. Is that? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. He recognized a lady and he responded as a gentleman. He was a very wonderful, very kind, very thoughtful man. Yeah. You know, it, it's fascinating that, um, you know, w w at least for my life, I don't know what it means anywhere else, but I've, the Facebook thing has brought me back in contact with all these people like yourselves. Yeah. You know, right, right. Hasn't great. been amazing? That's amazing. But, but what's really amazing, it's my high school friends that I seem closest to that I have not been close with for 40 years. Of all the people in the whole life, it's the group. I went to a prep school. I went away. Mm -hmm. But it's that group, there, there's a large number that mm -hmm. you might not get along at all, but we all... Are communicating on a level that, and then the second yeah. group, the Art Institute group. You know, this we have it's a fiftieth reunion. They're having a reunion in July. There's just I, one or two spots that I have to sign up for if I want to go online. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we're having a real reunion, like an in-person reunion. Yeah, we're having a like a. Well, of course, reunion. I go for it. Yeah, you, yeah. when you say us, meaning you mean our class, or you're talking about another thing? My high school reunion. Okay, thank you. I was going to yeah. say. I was saying, <laughs> Yeah, I, I I don't think I could ever go back there. Uh, I saw too many horrible things back then. Uh, <laughs> left a bad impression. Uh, that's back when marijuana was frowned upon, you know. Were you invested in that at the time? Well, not necessarily myself. I think that was right before that happened for me. But for some people that were, it was a it was it presented. It, I can't explain what a boys prep school in 1968. Wow, boys prep school. It's like wow. prison. It was basically prison, you know. Wow, <laughs> wow. In the name of higher education, you know. Wow. Uh, yeah, in the middle of nowhere, up on a cliff. <laughs> oh, did you study harder without the distraction of women? I, I that was the idea, but I don't think that was the end result. You know. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Um, my memory is, uh, 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 well, it, it's not good because it's, I, you know, I wanted to go to high school. So wow. once you that were there, you were very there. curious. Wow. Yeah, well, it was really curious I mean, because it, it made, whatever, there it was. So I have no, no desire to go back is what I'm trying to say. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Man. I'm not sure what I'd be celebrating, you know. <laughs> wow. Now, I've lost all contact with uh, anyone from high school. I don't know where they are. Uh, Interestingly, he was born in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, that's perverse. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's very... No, it really is. When I did drove you, by his house. When did you leave? Oh, uh, I left in uh, 51. Uh, so in your or teens or 20s or what? Oh, I was... Um, 19 or so. Okay. Okay. So that's about the right time to leave. Yeah. 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 It was, uh, I had a really, uh, pleasant, uh, childhood. I really liked it. Detroit was, uh, you know, the motor city and it was, uh, financially, it was very, very, very good shape. And, well, it's gangbusters, uh, I would think. And then all, all of the, uh, 
all, all of the uh, war material that was made there, you know, it was very active in the 40s. Uh, yeah, you know, growing up there. Yeah. There's a there's a guy. I I, I got to run. We start chatting. I started blabbing. I I told you I, I do have to run. Mm -hmm. But a guy named Dave Mercery. I sent you his link about some fellow that's in prison on Facebook. Um, he just wrote an article in some Detroit, whatever the paper is there. Uh, um, and I can't, I'm sorry, I don't remember the fellow's name, but you know, somebody has been incarcerated for much too long. But uh, Dave is a huge baseball nut. That's how I ran into him. Um, and so he's somebody that goes out and there's some field. I can't remember the name of the field that's gone now, the ball field, that he and a group of people go and they keep it. They take care of it as a oh, okay. as a shrine. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, that's how I met him to a baseball connection. But it ends up he's a really good guy, and, and, and you'd like uh, touching base with him because he's a a Detroit nut. You know, he's yeah. So who is this? It's a Mercery M E R S E Y. I think is how you spell his name. I'll, I'll send you his link, Dave. Okay. okay. But uh, okay. I heard him give a talk at this baseball reliquary thing. This this music. And where does he live? He lives in Detroit. Okay. Yeah. All right. I know you're not there anymore, but I go back. I mean, I, still, boots. <laughs> I go back though. I go back and forth. Are you still doing? I okay. plan to. Yeah. Cool. That's okay. Cool. So we're all talked out. I mean, I, I, plus I got to run. I, I can't. Okay. Well, this has been lovely. It's been great. Yes, it has. Hey. It's nice to connect, and 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 we'll have a, a fun. And I I think segregating into little power souls to begin with will give everybody a chance to introduce ourselves or something yeah. and introduce yeah. our work to each other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Somehow yeah. you could, yeah. well, you're the master of ceremony. Well, I'm the guy who just sits back there and laughs, you know, in the, uh -huh. <laughs> with us. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. 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 Well, no, I'm doing both. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Yeah. Nice seeing both of you. And, thank you. and I really like your glasses. They're stunning. Well, yeah. yeah they rock. You know, they, the, 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 the humor of the whole thing is, is when I saw the prices of everything, these are the cheapest thing oh, in really? the world. Everything else is normal, but the actual frames were dirt cheap. Wow, yeah, but they're really stunning. They look really rocking. Yeah, yeah thank very you. Very like hip. Yeah, that's my need for out in the woods here, you know? They're very cool. <laughs> they're very cool. Thank I you. I would wear them. They're awesome. You all look good. And I guess the wigs, I'm waiting. The, yeah, the wigs. Hey. The wigs. Okay, ciao. Okay, okay. 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 Bye. ciao. Bye-bye. Yeah. End meeting for all.